Welcome to the Holy Spirit Novena. This is the ninth day. And we start in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, Spirit of Light, Spirit of Strength, Spirit of Love, pour your gifts, enlighten our mind, strengthen our will, and inflame our hearts with the love of God. Let's take a moment to offer the special intention we want to present to God while praying this Novena. We ask you today for Christ's goodness. God is good. Growing up, we were often told, be good. Maybe this looked like helping your mom with the household chores or getting good grades in school. Be a better brother, brother, sister. When we strive to be good for our own benefit, it's not truly goodness that we possess. Goodness is holiness in action is the result of a life of a spirit-filled person, a person with a deep desire for holiness. It's not goodness simply for the sake of being virtuous. When we add out of true goodness of the heart, we seek the benefit of others. We place the needs of others before our own Our actions come from a place of selflessness. Not for our own benefit. It's the deeper gift from the Holy Spirit. Only the Holy Spirit could give us this. Only our docility, our openness for the Holy Spirit to work in us. Help us with this. We could be good if we let the Holy Spirit work with us. Truly good. Other gifts of the Holy Spirit, we can get better at it when we practice them or exercise them. But goodness is different. Need to be rooted deep in our hearts. Otherwise, what it comes, comes wrong. If good deeds come from a person that add good, but is not good, it doesn't translate in goodness. When a person doesn't have goodness in their heart, their actions are just for benefit, interest. It feels disingenuous, empty, funny, artificial though you may see good things coming from that person therefore goodness is not something that you can fake it until you make it goodness is the identity of the heart of that that is docile to the Holy Spirit true goodness comes from a true good person When we strive to be good, then true goodness will come out of ourselves. There are no shortcuts through inner work, self needs to be done. But the Holy Spirit, we have to let the Spirit do it. Goodness is not about elaborate things to gain recognition. Oftentimes, it is small acts of goodness we do through our day that means the most of those around us. Goodness is well. What comes out of us when we don't have anything to win out of it, when we cannot take advantage of our actions or our words, is what we do when nobody's looking and nobody cares, when nobody gives us credit for it. Goodness is the result of our openness to the Holy Spirit, which is good. God is good. The closer we get to God, the better at being good we get. Goodness is not a quality that we can manufacture on our own. James chapter 1 says, Every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights. This 
certainly includes a life that is characterized by goodness. It's letting God be God in our lives and the Holy Spirit to work on us. We will be blessed with the fruit of goodness when we do so. And if we are lucky enough that others might see the goodness in us, they will praise the Father in heaven. We will give glory to God with our lives. Holy Spirit grants us goodness. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who regenerate us by water and the Holy Spirit and has given us forgiveness of all sins, send forth from heaven upon us your holy gifts. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us bow down in humbleness, at the power and grandeur of the Holy Spirit, let us worship the Holy Trinity and give glory today to the Paracrete Allah Advocate. O Holy Spirit, by your power, Christ was raised from the dead to save us all. By your grace, miracles are performed in Jesus' name. By your love, we are protected from evil. And so we ask with humbleness and a beggar's heart for goodness within us. We want to be like your saints in heaven. Holy Spirit, renew us by your power with your goodness that we may bring the good news to the world. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy His consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>